Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to draw the development of that figure that is displayed at the top right corner of the screen. I want to draw the development of it. But before we go into this drawing, I want to show you what it means to develop a figure, right? With the pattern. Now watch. Let me assume this is my figure here, right? And if you look at the top right corner, we are told that from the beginning of the figure to the end of the figure is 13. So I will measure the height is 60, the width is 40, as in the length is 40, then the distance from here to here is what is 13. Now if I place my compass at this end here, and I come here and I'll be able to cut out this shape, you can see that. I need to cut out that shape. So if I cut it out, this is what I will have. So this is what we have after I have cut the figure. Right? So this figure here, if I develop it, I'm going to be having this pattern, this shape. Have you seen that? So let's see if we're going to get this at the end of the video. So sit back and watch. So if I'm to draw the figure at the top right corner, I will draw my horizontal line this way right and I'm going to also draw my vertical line this way because it is a cylinder you can see that so where they are meeting is at this point and if you look at the top right corner the length of that figure is 40 so it means that the diameter is what is 40 so if I take my metal rule and I'm going to measure 20 on my metal rule this way and I'll place it at this point here I'm going to draw a circle this way right faint line a better steel I'll draw a circle this way the circle I have now I'm going to divide that circle into 12. So placing it at this point with the same radius, I will mark up. I'll come here also. I'm going to mark up. I'll come here. I'll mark left and um, right. So pass those points to the center of the circle. I'm going to be having this this way. And I'm going to be having this this way I'm going to be having this this way I'm going to be having this this way so I'll see that this is my zero this is my one one to be my two two three three four four five five and six I'm going to project I'll just draw an horizontal line, a vertical line from the edge of from the circumference of the circle. I'll draw it up this way. And I'll come here also. I'm going to do the same thing this way. You can see that? So at any given distance, I'll just connect here to here. So it means that from here to this point here is what is 40. Right? Now if you look at the top right corner. The height is given as what? As 60. So I'm going to take my metal rule and I'll measure the height of the shape to be what? 60, which is at this point here. You can see that. And I'm going to thicken it. So in thicken it from this point here down to this point here, I'll be having something like this. Right? Now the next thing I'll do is I'll just connect it to the other point with faint line since it is not fully a straight line then if you look at the top right corner from the end of that line here which to this point is 13 so I'm going to measure 13 so this is from here this point here is 13 so I will thicken it you can see that now with the help of my compass right with the help of my compass I'll place it here 
to this point I mark I marked 13. You can see that, and I'm going to thicken it to touch this point here. You can see that, and I'm going to close it up. To so close it up from here to this point, I'll be having this. Now we have successfully drawn out the shape that is displayed at the top right corner of the screen which is this shape that I carved out earlier. You can see the shape I carved out earlier. Can you see that? So what we are trying to get now is the development of the pattern, which is we are trying to get this shape, right? So you watch and let's see. So from here, I'm going to project a line from this point. I'll project it straight down this way. You can see that? And with the help of my compass, I'll take these two distances, any of the two this, um, division here, you can see. And I'll come at any given point here, but not close to this, this shape, just somewhere around here. I'll take this first point, I'll take it as my point zero. Then I'll come, this will be one, this will be two. And 12. Since I divided the circle into 12, I'll divide the line into 12. So this is my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. You can see that? Now I'm going to draw a line here, faint line also, across the length. Then I'll use my C square. You know close this up each and every one of them I'll close them up you can see that each and every one of them I'll close. you can see that I have done that now and the next thing is I am going to project all these points the circle I'll put them up to touch the shape that I carved out so for one I'll take it to touch here for two I'll repeat the same thing also for three is already there for four also I'll do the same thing for five I'll do the same thing right this is what we have so this will be 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 6. We have 0, 1, 2, this 3, right? So this is 4 here, sorry. This is 5 and this is 6. This is not part of it. Oh, good. Now all those points, I'm going to project them to go and touch the end of that circle this way. So let me just take it up a little bit so you get to appreciate what we are doing. You can see that? So I'm going to draw this this way from 1, from 0, meet 0. That is my point 0 here. Right? So this 0, this is line 0, meeting 0. Also, there's another zero here, meeting this, so I'll trace it to that point. For me also, this is another zero here. That is point zero. So zero meeting zero at each of those points. I want to just draw. So I can just project my line this way. You can see that? Now, I'll come to one. This is point one here. I'll project it. This is to this point. So if you look at it closely, this is line 1 coming up and coming as well, line 1 meets line 1, you can see, the other point, and also another point here, line 1, so this is 1, 2, this is 1 here also. And the next thing is 2, we'll go to 2, we'll do the same thing, where the 2 is meeting the 2 here, this line 2 meeting 2. And also line 2 meeting 2. So this is our point 2. Our point 2. 
similarly you go to 3 where 3 is meeting 3 at this point this point 3 then at this point also is another point 3 the next one is 4 this is the line of 4 so what do you notice 4 5 and 6 are on the same point so let's go this is 4 5 and 6 are on the same point right so we have 4 5 and 6 on the same point there also this is 4 5 6 on the same point what do you notice this is 4 5 6 all the 4 5 and 6 are on the same point so we have this is 4 5 6 5 4 so they're on the same point so what i will do is i will now use ticking from here to this point right i'll tick in here and i'll stop here then i'll come here also i'm going to do the same thing here too i'll tick in here and i'll stop here zero to zero here and also zero to zero here now I'll use my french call and i'll connect this point before then you say four five and six are on the same point this is all the point on the same point here. Now use my French curve. I'm going to connect those points together with my French curve. Right? You can take three points at a time from this one here. You can try to take this this way. I see that. I'll have this. Then I'll come again. You can decide to have this. You can see that that's what we have there and i'll come here also i'll do the same thing i'll take this three point also here join zero to one of the three point like this if i do that i'll have this to this point and i'll join this three together So from here, we have this. You can see that? So we have brought out that shape. So initially, I brought out this, right? I carved it out, and we said we are going to have the same shape. So this is the what we have here. This is the development of that figure. So if you find the video interesting and you've, you've um, learned one or two things from the video please don't forget to like share and also subscribe to my channel thanks for watching mm -hmm.